Hello everyone and welcome to the WCG for match two of the 2021 Australia Day T20 Big Bash, which sees the defending champions Nice Gary get their title defence underway against last year's quarter finalist 60 Grit to get us underway in Group B. We've just witnessed a dramatic upset in the opening match of the tournament, with the men in purple looking to pull off one of their own in this Group B opener. Group B is headlined by the defending champions Nice Gary, who are looking to become the first team in Australia Day T20 Big Bash history to win back-to-back -back titles. 60 Grit, their opponents in this contest, and surprise quarterfinalists from last year, join them in Group B. And Group B is rounded out by the Puff and Billies, who make their second appearance at the Australia Day T20 Big Bash. The captains are in the middle and ready for the toss. Oh, there you go. It's the defending champions, Nice Gary, who win the toss, and they elect to send 60 Grit into bat. As we have a look at the Blues lineup for this year's competition, it's an identical lineup to the side that lifted their second crown in last year's edition. The side will be led by George Paneros once again. He will be joined by Josh Bowling, who's come off a pretty handy series for Brendan's 11 with the ball, as he'll be looking to continue that form into this tournament. With Nice Gary's side rounded out by the hero from last year's tournament, Harry Dean, whose dream debut campaign powered the men in blue to their second Australia Day T20 Big Bash title. And as we take a look at the men in purple side for this year's competition, they too have all three members who participated in last year's tournament. The side will be captained by Mark Pasterfield once again, who's coming off a pretty handy test series for Match 11 with the ball. He'll be joined by his right hand man, Clinton Cowan. With the ever exciting Chris Mendham rounding out the lineup for the men in purple. And just before we get underway, we'd like to thank our major partners for this year's tournament Campbelltown Motor Auctions, who have jumped on board for this season, and our ever reliable and long standing partners, Harley Cranes Group. It's match two of the Australia Day T20 Big Bash, and the champions are in town. It's Chris Mendham who has been given the opening duties here for the Men in Purple as he's been entrusted to get his side off to a great start here at the top of the order. Has had a lean trot of things in previous tournaments. Can today be his day? Match two, ready to get underway for the sixth edition of the Australia Day T20 Big Bash. It's going to be Harry Dean who's going to bowl the first over of the innings. Here he's in now to Mendham. It's a full delivery. Oh, he's got a bottom edge. He's got a bottom edge through to the keeper. It's a nightmare start for the Men in Purple. The defending champions picking up where they left off from last year's edition. Chris Mendham goes for a golden duck to begin this tournament. And from a 60 grit point of view, they could not have envisioned a worse start. One for none. 60 grit, one for none after the first delivery. And that wicket now brings Clinton Cowan to the crease at number two. To be fair, this is not a foreign situation here for Clinton. Can he get his side out of trouble once again? So it'll be Harry Dean who has his tail up. To bowl to Clinton Cowan for his first delivery. Here he's in now, it's a full toss. And Cowan gets a thick inside edge onto the fence. And he's going to scamper through for a single. So that will be a sigh of relief there for Clinton, who gets off the mark. 60 Grit are off and racing here in match two. One for one. Dean to continue to Cowan in the opening over. Here he's in now, and this one's a full delivery, and it's played down the ground. But it's well fielded off his own bowling there by Harry Dean. Who moves smartly to his left to make the stop. One for one here in the opening over. As Dean will continue again now to Cowan. It's a play and a miss outside the off stump. So the men in blue are all over the men in purple here in match two. And that's a beauty. Ten stuff here to begin with for the grit. As Dean will continue to Cowan in the opening over. And this one jams Cowan up and he plays this away. Well he's clearly having a laugh but he's probably lucky he hasn't got done for obstructing the field as he gives a thumbs up to the grandstand. Well, I suppose given their predicament, they'll take anything they can get at this point. Might just be the only way they can get him on the board. One for one, as it'll be the skipper who'll bowl the second over of the innings. He too will go around the wicket as he begins with a good length delivery, but it slides down the leg side and that will have to be re -bowled. So another one added to the 60 grit tally. One for two here into the second over. Wayward start here for the nice Gary Skipper with the ball. As he'll continue to count around the wicket in the second over. Here he's in now, and this one's a better delivery, a full delivery outside the off stump. And it's another swing and a miss from the 60 grit vice captain. 
So doing it tough to begin match two here are the men in purple who have a far tougher draw to contend with than last year's edition. As Paneros will continue to count in the second over. This one's a full delivery and Cowan drives it down the ground for the first boundary of the contest. Well that'll lift the 60 grit camp as Cowan moves to five. Paneros to continue to count in the second over. Here's in now around the wicket and that one's a better length delivery as Cowan gets an inside edge onto his leg. And it's fielded there by Harry Dean on the offside. 60 grit, one for six into the second over. They'll want to start finding the boundary on a more regular occasion. As Paneros will continue again now to Cowan. And this one's a beautiful delivery outside the off stump. Which has the beating of the 60 grit vice skipper all ends up. Yeah, that's a beauty. Paneros in for the final delivery of the over. As in now around the wicket, this one's a full delivery play towards bowling on the onside. As he's made the stop and he's turned and thrown, and he's thrown the stumps down. Clinton Cowan has been run out by a fantastic bit of work from Josh Bowling. Cowan got a fair chunk of this. Bowling sticks out the right foot to make the stop and reacts brilliantly to throw the stumps down. And the champions are flexing their muscle here in match two. 60 grit in all sorts of trouble at two for six at the completion of the second over. As that wicket now brings Mark Passerfield to the crease of skipper. The last hope for the men in purple. Can he stand up for his side? Here as the champions are going for the kill. It'll be Harry Dean to bowl the third over of the innings. Here is in now to Passerfield. And it's a play and a miss to begin with for the 60 grit skipper. And this must have been a whisker away from ending the innings. Oh, how close can you get? Dean to continue to Passerfield in the third over. Here as he serves up a full toss and Passfield gets some bat on it and drops it on the onside and moves through for a single. So the big fella is off the mark for the tournament as it's been met with plenty of ironic cheers from the grandstand. 60 grit move along to two for seven here in the third over. The champions will be eyeing off a bonus point here in match two. As Dean is in once again to Passfield and it's a full delivery outside the off stump and it's another swing and a miss here from the men in purple. So this looks a class above here for 60 grit. We're going to need to find some boundaries at the back end of this innings. There to post a decent total. As Dean is in once again to Pasterfield. And Pasterfield defends on the onside for no run. So yet another dot here for the men in purple. I suppose Pasterfield will be eyeing off bowling here for the last over. He's got one more ball to negotiate as he hits this down the ground. But Harry Dean feels well of his own bowling. So the champions have been too strong so far for the men in purple. As they have restricted them to two for seven off three overs as we enter the final over of the innings. Can they get a few away? So it'll be Josh Bowling to bowl the fourth and final over of the innings. As he's in around the wicket here to pass the field and he begins with a flight of delivery and it's another swing and a miss here from the 60 grit skipper to begin the final over. So desperate times here for the men in purple. Can they find a few boundaries here in this final over? As Bowling will continue again now to pass the field but this one slides down the league side, so that will have to be rebowled. So it's a sundry added to the total here for 60 grit. Two for eight here in the final over. As Bowling will continue to pass the field around the wicket. He's in now and he gives this one some fight again. And pass the field gets under it and hits this out of the ground. So the men in purple have finally been put out of their misery. As the skipper goes for one, as the champions will be eyeing off a bonus point. So a dismal display with the bat yet again for the men in purple. Has seen them bowled out for eight here in the final over. Clinton Count top scoring for the grit with five. Harry Dean one for two off his two overs. As it's going to take something pretty special here from the men in purple to prevent Nice Gary from getting a bonus point, let alone winning the match. It's nine to get for the defending champions. So it will be Harry Dean who will get this run chase underway for the men in blue. As mentioned prior, had a fantastic tournament last time out in his debut stint at the WCG. Can he guide his side home? Nine to get for the men in blue. As it'll be Clinton Count to bowl the first over of the innings. As he's in now and he begins with a full delivery, but this one slides down the leg side, so it'll be a wide to begin with. So not the start the grit we're looking with the ball. They need wickets and they need them fast. As Count will continue to Dean in the opening over of the contest. Hughes will continue around the wicket now to the left-hander. Hughes is in now, and this one's a horrible delivery, which sprays way down the leg side. So it goes from bad to worse here for the men in purple. Nice carry, two without loss, and we're still to have a legitimate delivery bowled yet. 
Dainty continue to count in the opening over of the run chase. Here he's in now and he serves up a full toss and Dean hammers it through the onside for the first boundary of the innings. So they're nearly there here are the defending champions. It's a gift served up from Cowan and it beats Mendham. Just three to get here for Nice Gary. As Cowan continues again now to Dean and it's another wayward delivery this time above waist height. So it'll be called a no ball. So the defending champions on the verge of a bonus point to get their title defence off to the perfect start as Dean will continue around the wicket to count in the opening over. Here he's in now, this one's another high full toss and he just drops this on the leg side and will move through for a single. There is no no ball called this time around. So scores are level here in match two. The defending champions have made light work of a poor 60 grid it must be said. So can Dean finish it off himself to remain not out once again in this tournament? Still three deliveries left in the over. Cowan is in runs again and Dean drops his on the leg side and will move through for the single that wins the match and claims a bonus point for the defending champions who have mauled the men in purple here in match two to get their title defence off to the perfect start. So in a completely one-sided affair, the defending champions far too strong here for 60 grit in this Group B opener as they cruise to victory by three wickets and gain a bonus point in the process. Harry Dean taking one wicket and finishing six not out to guide his side to an easy victory. So Group B takes a predictable standing after this opening contest. Nice Gary rocket to the top of Group B, claiming all three wickets and a bonus point in the process to set themselves up for another tilt at the title. It's back to the drawing board for the men in purple who now have a do or die clash against tournament dark horses Puff and Billies in their next contest but they will need a far better performance than what they've just dished up here. So as we take a look at the next match of the tournament, it's a juicy encounter to get us underway in Group C. Last year's surprise semi-finalists, the Saggy Greens, take on tournament dark horses to Nif Nuffs. With the WCG babes also in this group, this one looks like a shootout for top spot. 